All right, so here's one good example from Disney Plus Avatar, which is just your basic Blu-ray 1080p uh, master that they uploaded to their servers on Disney Plus. But here's the trick. Now we have the NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield Pro, and with the NVIDIA Shield Pro AI enhancer for upscaling the 1080p videos, this is where this truly will come in handy, guys. And here's one example, again, Avatar, using that AI upscaler enhancer. This is where you're truly going to notice that dramatic difference. Now, it also depends on what type of TV do you have. It also depends what type of picture settings are you using. I recommend, if you're going to be using this AI enhancer, I recommend that you guys um, keep your sharpness at zero. Yes, you heard me right. Keep your sharpness at zero because you are going to be enhancing every and each pixel with this AI enhancer. Okay, now maybe it's difficult for you guys to see this. Uh, to see the difference from here. I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so what I did here, I zoomed in a little bit to my OLED, my E8 OLED from 2018, which is still a great OLED TV. I never had any issues with it. Here, maybe you will see the difference. Look at the hair and how much of that detail you're missing and how soft it looks when you don't use the uh, AI enhancer. And look how sharp, and how sharp detail is on that hair. Just look at it right here. I'm sure you can see it. This is a big deal, guys. You know, so that way you can watch movies that are not in 4K, or if you have 1080p movies, you can enhance them. But please do keep in mind, not every application is supported. Not every application supports this, but uh, the ones that do, it looks pretty darn good. And uh, to me, this is a great tool. And it really gives you, it, it transforms the movie into a much better experience, honestly. It just looks better. I mean, look at this. You can see the, the, the drops of water on her forehead much better. Some people say this is like a sharpness. No. This is what you are getting with just a regular bitrate of 1080p here of a Blu-ray. But you wouldn't know any difference. You would think this is how the movie was filmed. And this is how it was remastered. But nope. You see? It definitely uh, adds to a certain depth of picture when you do that. In my opinion here's a great example right here you know this is what normally we would think when we're watching a 1080p version of this film this is what we normally would think okay this is how it's supposed to look it's supposed to look like this you know okay you wouldn't know any different i'm talking about regular joe's regular mary's who don't understand how this works all right you wouldn't know any different all right but check this out look how Beautifully, this AI upscaler enhancer. Look how beautifully it renders every and each pixel. And look at the amount of detail that you're seeing now. Just look at all them um, navis climbing up. Look the kind of detail you're seeing now. It brings a depth of picture. It really does brings the, the depth of picture. I mean, you, I mean, if you can see it, and I don't know, I'm, I'm doing my best here to, to show you this. Uh, I'm really doing my damn best here to kind of show this. And look at here, for example. Look how beautifully the, the Navi has been enhanced right here. I mean, clearly you guys should be able to see that difference. And it really adds to more depth of picture. It almost looks like 4K. Honestly, it really, it, it almost looks like you're watching a 4K version of a film, except it doesn't have HDR. 
But uh, I mean, here's my question to you. W w would you rather watch a movie like this, soft, or would you rather watch a movie like this? No, there's still a bunch of 1080p movies out there, you know. Maybe, you know, you got a bunch of 1080p movies on your hard drive, burnt on your hard drive, and, you know, you would like to watch those movies with the enhancer. So who knows, you know. This is, in my opinion, a very useful tool, in my opinion. And, and uh, I would... I think also this is a very useful tool for the projectors. This is something I want to try on my projector. You know, I think projectors, it's where this is going to truly shine on a, on a Vanky V630. You know, using this AI upscaler, I think that's where it truly is going to shine. It's going to be on the, uh, the Vanky V630 performance projector. And here we go again, same thing here. Look how soft everything is. Now, again, if you didn't know any better, you would probably think, well, this is how it is. This is how it's being, you know, well, it is how it is. It is how the movie is encoded in its original form with 1080p and the bit rate. But look what this enhancer is doing. Look how beautifully it's rendering and sharpening that every in each pixel I mean come on that to me it's not just sharpness guys this is a, like gives you a depth of picture it is really difficult to capture this through a camera but it, it gives you almost like a depth of picture there's like a depth of it it looks more three-dimensional when you do this and it's something that I wish you guys would try out for yourself just to see it but it definitely works and here we go again, same thing here. Look how soft the image is. And look now, look how beautifully it sharpens that image. It's just better in every way. And I really can't wait to try this out on a projector. I think this is really gonna look great on a projector because on a projector, that's where you're gonna need it on that big giant screen. And uh, especially if you got a really good focus like a really good focus lens so on a projector i can definitely see this having a huge effect with uh Vanky v630 and bone maker that i have so on a projector i definitely think this will shine big time but remember my camera here it's really not doing it justice this is something i always keep telling people you got to see it for yourself when it comes to Dolby Vision, when it comes to HDR, when it comes to OLED, when it comes to QLED, QLED, OLED, organic light emitting diodes and quantum uh, light emitting uh, diodes, you have to see, you have to see it for yourself in person to understand the difference. Hopefully I'm maybe giving you guys some some clue as to how it looks <laughs> i'm trying to do my best here guys i'm doing this for you i'm not doing it for me hopefully you can see it here now imagine this this is on the oled you know how beautiful the oled is now imagine me now watching this on oled and you know how beautiful the oled is and then me using this enhancer well you get the picture now You get the full picture now. Here we go. Same thing. Soft. Everything soft. Everything is more detailed and sharper. Let me see if I can maybe adjust my camera a little bit better so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully you guys can see. What I'm trying to prove here to you. Here we go. Maybe this will work a little bit better. I 
I'm hoping my camera can capture this, you know. Maybe with the S20 Ultra, when I get my S20 Ultra with the 8K, I'll be able to kind of give you a better detail of what I'm trying to show. But believe me, look at the head of this dragon, or this flying, whatever you call it. Uh, it's been a long time, man. I can't remember the name of these creatures, but it's flying, whatever. Look how, look how soft it is. And now look how sharp it is. <clears throat> Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I have zoomed out. Kind of to give you a better perspective. Hopefully you can see what I'm trying to show you. Because, uh, like I said, it's very difficult to, to capture this through camera. And I'm trying to do my best here to show you this. Listen, uh, QLED, there's nothing wrong with the QLED. I like QLED and it's, it's definitely... In my opinion, the best LCD television out there in the market. However, when you are watching OLED, <laughs> guys, there's nothing better than the... If you want the perfect colors, if you want the perfect black level details, if you want the perfect contrast ratio, OLED, there's nothing better at the moment till we get micro LEDs. Okay, till we get micro LEDs. Right now, currently, to me, all it is just, I've said this like millions of times, it does it for me. I think, I think I've, I've shown you enough here. I think you guys get the, get the message here. Let me give you one more still of this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I saved the scene of the movie. I saved the, the best for the last and I'm gonna show you which scene I'm talking about. Like right here during the scene where they attack the uh, the tree of life. Uh, and then look at the explosions in the background. Now everything looks blurry. This is all fast moving imagery. Uh, remember, we're also using a match content. This is also matching the 24 frames per second that this movie was shot. So now when you add the, uh, the AI upscaler enhancer with a 1080p, well, Guess what? On this OLED, this AI enhancer with the 4K upscaling will bring even more detail. And look, look how detailed that explosion is going to be right now. You can clearly see it in the distance. Following by the, uh, the trail of this uh, smoke from the rocket that, that, that just hit and detonated. Uh, and just look at that. The depth, it's not just sharpness, it's the depth of picture. And that's what you're getting. You're getting a much better depth of picture. And that's what's missing. When you're watching these 1080p movies, now you got that depth of picture. And it just looks better. In every way. So this is definitely a welcomed feature. I wouldn't say it's a gimmick. Some people, I mean, some people think it's a gimmick. I thought about it first, but it's not. It's not a gimmick. <clears throat> it really works. But you got to see it for yourself to understand. And even here, look at his face. And look how beautifully it's enhanced, everything. You can even see his chest hair. You can count how many gray hairs he's got on there as well. That's the kind of detail that you're going to see with this uh, AI upscaler right here uh, and it really works well and again you know I'm trying to do my best here to to give you some idea the best way I can explain it it's not sharpness you know a lot of people are using the word sharpness I would not say digital sharpness this is more like it, it's it's enhancing the depth of picture it's giving you a much better depth of picture okay something that you normally wouldn't see with a 1080p con uh, content so it's it's really enhancing the depth of picture and if you, if you got a really good tv if you have OLED like i do or if you have qled or sony z90 or z9f okay or even vizio p quantum guess what you're gonna enjoy this is a really good feature and uh, i'm really loving it man because I got a lot of Blu-ray movies. I got a lot of movies I can burn and put into a hard drive and then watch it from 
NVIDIA. You can sideload side one of those uh, Kobe players or whatever. There's a bunch of uh, video app players you can download and you can use them. You can use Plex and, and do the same thing with the Plex server. This is actually a perfect device for Plex. If you have a Plex, uh, use the Plex server. It's perfect. But uh, I love it, dude. I really have nothing bad to say about this, especially for somebody like me who loves 4K. I mean, I'm all about the 4K anyway. I mean, so this is like awesome. Loving this. Even Alice in Wonderland. This is 1080p movie. And look how beautifully it's being enhanced. You see things that you normally wouldn't see. And it really, it, it brings, it brings more clarity and depth to the picture. It brings that depth to the picture. It really does, man. And, but this is something you have to see for yourself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really having a difficult time trying to like explain this <laughs> to what my eyes are seeing. Here's another great example. Right here. Now it looks soft. I can I can see that it looks soft. It doesn't look vibrant. The image looks soft. Well, guess what? With the uh, AI upscaler enhancer, voila! Look at that, man. It's like a brand new movie. It's like a brand new remaster of a movie. This is awesome. And this is the power of the uh, Tegra X1 Plus chip. All right. It's a very powerful uh, processing chip that does all of this. And it does it really well. So, um, well, there you have it, guys. I mean, honestly, I'll do some more tests on it. I'll do some more stuff on it, you know. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let me know down below. Leave a comment. Uh, I Listen, I love it, dude. I, I think this is a great feature. Uh, this is an excellent... Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, HDR device. Uh, and it's very small, compact. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about uh, NVIDIA Shield Pro. I really don't. At, at this point, I really don't have anything. I would say this is the best Android device out there, in, uh, NVIDIA Shield Pro. Till we get NVIDIA Shield 2. But this is, I think, I would highly recommend this. Whether you're using a projector especially for a projector using this feature. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so, um, yeah, guys. <laughs> uh, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What do you think? Okay, I told you what I think, but let me know what you think. All right, guys, well, I hope you appreciate this video for what it is. Have a good one, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Have a good night.